and welcome to either the end of the vlog or a new vlog I don't know where I will put this footage because I still have no idea how much I have from the holidays we came back last night quite late and um, I've been really sick in the night I don't know if it's the stress of the trip or if I caught a bug there was a lot of bugs going around when we were there luckily we were spared this time <laughs> last time it cut off cut out half of our holidays at the end I am in the middle of unpacking uh, I have this is all for Alfie's room this is all for Owen's room it's a lot of Christmas stuff I have been there I have all the suitcases are empty and back in the attic which is quite good for me I have all the stuff that needs to go in the kitchen in bags in the kitchen I have a pile of laundry and I thought before I pack everything away <coughs> I am going to show you what I got for Christmas this year do you want to show your car Alfie? This is Alfie's early birthday present from my sister and her husband and their daughters. It's a remote control Ferrari and it has a steering wheel to control it. Is it working? Does it not work? We still haven't changed the batteries of the... They only had demonstration batteries in the controller. You need to put it on the ground for it to work, Alfie. Um, <clears throat> we've also removed all the Christmas decorations this morning. Uh, I just want to feel like a clean start at the moment, you know. Uh, but yes, so Alfie, go and do it in the hallway because there's more room. Then it doesn't crash. Uh -huh. Okay? Go and do it in the hallway because then you don't crash into everything. There's so many things on the ground, it keeps crashing into everything. Anyway, so I'm going to show you what I got. Uh, certain things I actually picked myself because um, um, my granny gave me some money and I bought myself some books with it. Uh, so yeah, I'll show you now. So from uh, James, I'm gonna say, I got this Hermione with um, the sorting hat on her head sitting on a stool and I didn't have Hermione in my collection yet. Well, I only had a small one so I finally have a full size one and believe it or not, I still don't have a Harry Potter in my collection. Then these are some of my favorite chocolates. So you get me that in my stocking and some of the Cocktail chocolate. Okay, it's not working. You need to do it in the hallway. It's because it's bumping into things. Did you turn it off again? Let me see. He keeps turning it off. You need to... there. Now it's working. Don't turn, touch the button, okay? So uh, these ones are apple strudel uh, chocolates, tiramisu chocolates, and these are my favorite, the pistachio praline ones. So these I will be saving for desperate times <laughs> and then I got uh, another dollhouse to make and I'm really excited about this one this is how it looks when it's finished I am loving making these I got this one and I got one from James's mom in a little glass container which I probably showed you already in the previous vlog and then I got this jigsaw which I love it's a thousand pieces and I'm gonna be going through this so this was in the house then from my parents I got uh, this is the new album from my favorite French singer and then they got me um, this but well, I wanted um, this is to for using with essential oils there's steam coming out of it and there's a light on it and you can make your own blends and I wanted one for a long time so they knew I wanted one but they weren't sure which one I wanted so they got me a gift card to go to the shop to pick it so I got this and then I got um, this set which has um, it's basically a starting kit with 12 uh, like most used essential oils uh, to use with and then I have this book which is a uh, very easy to follow book it basically for everything like you check you check like a symptom and it tells you the best blends for it and this one is one that's there's five different blends already and one is vitality one is for the evening just to wind down one is for whenever you have a cold like this eucalyptus and all in there a relaxing one and a fresh air one so this i'm really looking forward to setting up that was from my parents this year and then so this is from one of my sisters we uh, whenever we have kids we don't we just do the kids we, we decided to stop buying for each other but we usually get a little token thing so these are magnets i got then my other sister um i'm loving the stuff she's done uh, she decided to do a handmade christmas uh in a way so what she and her girlfriend did is that they are in the middle of trying to go with making their own creams and soaps and shampoos and stuff so 
<clears throat> she made us um, hydrating cream. It's like a balm you can use for dry skin. This is toothpaste, but it comes into um, like it's uh, powder that you use. So that's all homemade. And then she made this little bag, and inside there is a solid shampoo. Uh, now she's experimenting, so she said they don't look very nice, but they work really well. So there's a solid shampoo inside and I love this so much. And then she got us presents made by local um, creators. So I got this necklace, which is so pretty. I'm so happy. It's like a collar, like this. And James got um, bow tie, uh, a wooden bow tie. Hold on, I'm going to try to find it. I'll show you after when I find it. Um, I only have my stuff gonna enough. So that's from my sister. Uh, my granny gave me, so this is a soap for like a very local soap from where I'm from with a soap dish, it's like a really uh, very typical Cote d'Azur present. But she gave me money and with it, I bought myself some books. So I got three from this writer. I've been wanting to read those for a while. There is a fourth one out. They're all in French and I've been wanting them for a while. So I got these. I also got these two from, uh, if you were following a few months ago, when my mom came over, she got me a book and the title was one of the um, things I framed in my bedroom. These are two other books by this author. I loved that book the last time, so I thought I'd get more. Uh, just I just want to read a lot at the moment, so I thought I would do that. My mom got me another book. Where is it? I'm missing a book there. Oh, there it is. Um, okay, <clears throat> this is a book that... Oh, it's all dirty now. <laughs> Problem of travelling. Uh, this guy, Samuel Le Bion, is an actor and he has an autistic daughter and he has written this book called um, uh, Happiness I Would Not Wish On Anyone and it's all about um, a mother who goes through life with uh, an autistic child. I believe it's a novel, but it's inspired by his wife and raising uh, a child who is autistic. Um, okay, the, the mother is a mother of two boys with one autistic and uh, she did this, the mother who basically fights to try and help her son and my, my mom heard about this in the documentary she thought <laughs> it was a perfect book for me. I'm really looking forward to reading this. Then we always have something that we call bidule. It's something that's um, it's a small, silly present. My granny on my dad's side started this when we were small. She used to take a massive box, fill it with paper, and inside there would be a tiny thing. And it's something that stayed. And I got this. Uh, it's always something very silly, uh, just for fun. And this is like a keyring with a light. I don't know if it has a Yeah. Let's see if you can find your keys. Um, so. Um, and it has my name on it. So this is the big deal of the year. And then my dad lent me two books. Um, this one, um, I don't know if you know it. I don't know the mystery of Henry Pick, I guess. Uh, and this one is a book by another author, which I absolutely love that I read last year. It's kind of a self-development book, but in a novel form. And I love this author. I am I just... So I have a lot of reading to do and also I treated myself to this with some of the money I got which is a um, bag filled with lavender and barley I think is called in English. That's it's like a cereal, not wheat, I think it's barley. You put it in the microwave with a glass of water and it heats up and because I have a lot of um, problem with belly ache, whether I'm on my period or when my belly is silly, this is, comes in handy. I have another one, but it doesn't smell anymore. And this one's filled with lavender. It's very strong and it's nice. And then uh, my dad was going through everything he had at home to, to kind of declutter. We found some, um, this is a game, like a PC game I had. And this was my favorite game when I grew up. It's like a mystery game you need to research. It's probably going to look horrible now, but he was going to throw them out. And I thought, you know what? I will take them in case they still work on the computer and I will play them in the next few days. So that's it for my presents. Do that. This is something I got for James. We haven't played it yet. And this one uh, includes two of them in expansions. But we can get more. And something I've heard about a lot. They're all strategy games. We love those kind of games. And then my sister and her husband got him this game. 
it's actually a late birthday present because if they didn't see him around his birthday because it was Easter the last time his birthday is in July they gave him that this time so this is called Splendor it's really really good we loved it and then when we were in the shop we saw that they had a box with um, four of the extensions so we bought it too and we brought it back so we have a lot of games to play we need to try this one today I'm really excited about that um, we love board games and we have more board games to play. These I need to finish to empty. We are uh, finally going to change calendars. We've had these for this one for five years, I think. And this one, I bought it when I was pregnant with Owen. So eight years. I think they've done a thing. So I'm going to put the stuff that are in them in the Playmobil boxes in Owen's room. And uh, next year we'll get new ones. It's three o'clock now and I'm really happy with how things are going. This is <laughs> the mounting cardboard recycling pile that we're going to bring to the dump. I also have two uh, bin bags. I ended up, I needed to tidy up the stuff we brought back. I ended up clearing, going through the cupboards and clearing everything, everything. <laughs> out so i know what we have exactly i've also done that on this side now it's very full because i brought a lot of stuff back um but it's all organized and all good and i still need to do it because there's not much left for this place we'll do it now so it's done and uh, then i need to order the shopping but we have already have an overflowing bin more bin bags so we're going to fill the cars and uh, we're going to bring everything to the dump when it reopens. I'm hoping it's reopening tomorrow. I don't know if it's close today, the 1st of January. Uh, but I'm very glad because I got, I've never, ever, ever managed to unpack so well, so quickly. I also sorted through. But basically, we have so much stuff we need to fit somewhere. And I don't want clutter. So I've also filled, like, cleared out. This is like a thing that needs to be sorted, but at least it's cleared out. The top there is all chocolates and there's more in the cupboard. I feel overwhelmed by the amount of chocolate we have brought back. Uh, and we have it here. Aiko is back. She's a bit confused, I think, as to what's going on. And we have my little essential oil thing going. I've put a blend called Zen and it smells so relaxing and nice and I'm really happy. Hello, Aiko. Yes, you're back. You're back. This is laundry that's left to do and I also have some in that basket. I have a load on which is the vomit load. <laughs> um, Alfie traditionally was sick. A, but the, we were lucky he was sick on in the car between my parents and the airport. So before we got on the plane and before we gave our suitcases. So we were able to, my mom had a bin bag in her boat. We were able to put everything in a bin bag and put it in a suitcase and Take an extra, we already had two spare uh, outfits for him, but I wanted to have two, one for each flight. What is he doing? One for each flight, uh, so we were able to swap things around so we didn't have to carry a bag full of clothes covered in sick, which is usually what we have to do. And what is it? Aiko wants some attention, I'm going to play with her in a minute. Um, so that was lucky, but yesterday I was so tired. We put everything in the office and it's only when we open the suitcases that I remembered about the sick bag. It was wrapped really, really well, so everything else was safe. But the smell, once I opened the bag to check, what's this bag there? I had a quick reminder of what it was, so that's, I'm just going to pre-wash it first on its own and then I'll wash it again because I'm a bit, when it comes to sick, I can cope like with cleaning it up and all, but I want to make sure it's all really really clean after that so this is the pre-wash and then i'll start washing everything what we're going to do is that uh, james is going to he has the um, glass we had a big box where we collect the glass to recycle that we needs to be brought to the recycling it's in his car at the moment so he's going to do that today and then he's going to load his car with all the cardboard so then he can bring them to the dump at some point so then they are not um, in the house and then uh, I'm going to change things around with my planning and my family organization. We had like a um, thing on the wall like this. And I figured out I was never updating it properly uh, because it, I needed to take it off the wall, fit it in, 
it's not easy to scribble quickly in and I want to get more organized with meal planning again so I have a planner that uh, is going to be a home family planner that's going to stay in the house which is here it's a happy planner there it is and we have little stands like this which are from Ikea so it's going to sit in the kitchen at this week and what I'm going to do I'm going to do it after actually there are hold on I'm going to turn the camera around to show you Aiko is following me everywhere I go I'm going, I'm going to give her some care after um look there's um like three sections so I'm going to do like a section to just jot down what we have that day one for uh, meal planning and one where I'm going to do like a to-do list of what I want to do in the house or um, and also I want to track exercising in that as well so either the exercising I'm going to track on the side I don't know yet I haven't figured it out I haven't had a chance to sit down and decide how I'm going to do it I might start one way and continue a different way but the idea is to have this is going to be staying in the house and it's something that it means in the evening I can just pick it up bring it to the couch update it and all that and get better at meal planning and it's very pretty and I'm hoping this motivates me to get more organized with stuff like that. Eko, come here baby cat, come here, come here, hello cat, hello baby cat, she's being a bit funny with us but I guess she's probably very confused about what's happening. Hello baby, she's still purring when I stroke her so that's good. She keeps hearing the boys playing upstairs and wondering where it's coming from. Hello, baby cat. Little Hermione has joined the uh, Harry Potter world figurines. I really like her a lot. I'm going to continue about planner with the first week of the of the month so i'm going to start a new one this is going to be a smaller one i carry around in my uh, handbag and so i'm not going to make it pretty i'm just going to write down quickly what i am doing and my planner my own one which i'm going to use in the narrow condren as usual and it's here and this is this week we are here i've penciled in the flight details but i need to sort it out Maybe the end of the week before I get to do that properly. Ah, everything is falling. I need to remove some stuff from that shelf too. I'm going to get take the rest of this week to get everything back to normal. Chase is going back to work tomorrow and the boys are starting back to school on the 3rd, which is it's a bit rubbish that they made them start again on the Thursday. But that's the way it is. Um, so yeah, I'm going to do that. But for now, I'm just going to get a little snack. I haven't had lunch. I'm still feeling... I haven't been sick this morning but I still feel very nauseous and like my stomach is upset and I don't feel like I'm gonna be sick but you know I don't feel like I want to eat much so I'm actually I have a soup it's like a chicken stock with like very thin pasta I might do that because it's not too heavy I'm gonna put my my dressing gown which is so soft this is another thing I got for Christmas as you probably already know if you watched vlogmas and it's getting being put to good use so i'm going to get, get mix myself some soup um at three in the afternoon who cares and i am going to read a book put some music on with my zen essential oils while the boys are murdering each other up the stairs they are in i kind of expected this to happen because we are back to familiar grounds they are after and after a day of a lot of frustration and all that the traveling they are very vocal let's say james is upstairs with them i'm not letting them murder each other and he's trying to be a referee in the middle of all this he's giving me a kind of a break today because i haven't had much of a break last week um because i was sleeping in the same bed as alfie and let's say that the last five nights there was not much sleep happening there was some throwing up there was some tantrums, there was a lot of tears, and I didn't sleep much. I am right, sleep deprived, and I'm feeling very well. And James is going back to work tomorrow, so he's taking over today with them to give me a bit of a break so I can recharge and be operational again tomorrow. Good morning, it's the next day, 
it's Wednesday the 2nd, today's is actually work today. I have started my new jigsaw, I've only sorted out the pieces but I think I've forgotten some of the edges somewhere in here because there's some I definitely don't have them in there and I'm gonna go through it again. Uh, I'm waiting for my shopping which should be here in the next 45 minutes. Um, it's booked between 10 and 11. I am in the middle of finishing all the laundry. I have one load just finished. All the rest is already folded and most of it is put away. I feel like I'm doing really well with the unpacking this time. Usually it takes me so long. I don't do it properly, but I'm such in a mood there where I just want to make room for things and just reorganize the house and you know, I'm in that state of mind. So it's, um, it's, it's good. Uh, I have booked a cause appointment to get spayed and microchipped. It will be next Monday. Um, it's something we've been waiting to do because usually it can be done earlier, but she's quite a small cat and they wanted to her to be a bit bigger before they did it. And the microchipping, they were going to, like, usually they can do it before that, but because she's so small, um, like, she's not small. She For her age, she's, she's a small framed cat, basically. Her mom is the same, so I think she's just not never going to be a very big cat. Um, uh, although she might, you know, she might surprise us, like hormones and all that can do wonderful things. Um, but uh, she, so far, she's been very small. They told us to wait, and they were saying the microchipping could hurt her quite a lot because the needle is quite big. And if we were planning to get her spayed, we might as well just wait for her to be um, put under. Um, an aesthetic to do it then so then it doesn't hurt her which I'm quite happy about because I just don't like her to be in pain obviously so this is happening on Monday I'll be bringing her up bringing the boys to school then bringing her to the vet and then picking her up later on in the afternoon um, she found a new spot that she really likes I kind of uh, changed it for her she kept going in here whenever we had the um, calendars see over here so I've put her blanket there. She used to sleep in there, but she doesn't go in it at all anymore. So what I might do is reclaim this space for for toys and I might try actually moving it up. She seems to like to be up high. Um, when she was in the cattery, the lady said that there were several levels they could sleep in in each cage and she always went to the top one. So she must like to be higher. So I might try moving this one up and put the toys at the bottom to see. Um, and yeah, see how it goes. Uh, but otherwise, I might try moving that to the office for when she's in there to see if she likes it better there. But otherwise, this space is always a space where there's a lot of clutter anyway, and I like to keep it clutter free just to have things like we're using just then. Like if I'm scrapbooking, I like to have just my box sitting there and all that. But there, she likes that space. It means that if she's there, I can clutter up that space, so it's not a bad thing. The boys yesterday were awful. There's no other way to put it. I'm not, can, I'm not going to sugarcoat it because I mean, there are certain things you do not sugarcoat. You cannot, no matter how hard you try, they cannot be sugarcoated. Uh, they were awful. Now, the rational side of me knows why it's happening it's because, well, it's like it was like an explosive kind of cocktail between them. Alfie has been uh, spending two weeks where he was holding in a lot of frustrations and. Usually when that happens, whenever he's in a comfortable environment, it just goes rah and all comes out in one go, which is what happened yesterday. So yesterday he was constantly being rough and shouting and screaming and kicking and just letting everything out. Usually when Owen is in the way, Owen gets that. Except that yesterday Owen was in a mood where he just wanted to tease him all day long. So the two together were just wonderful. Today, Alfie is more in a... Hey, Alfie. Is it you, Alfie? Yeah. Come and see me. You have a little cat? Mm -hmm. He's more in a clingy, sleepy mood. Mm -hmm. so, look, who's that? Oh. Who's that? Mm -hmm. Who's that? Mm -hmm. What? What is it? Is it Alfie and Mommy? Or is it Daddy? Mommy. Is it daddy in the camera? No. No, who is that? Alfie's white. Alfie's white? And I'm <laughs> black. <laughs> um, so, yes. And I have already told Owen 
that if every time he, he misbehaved, I was taking away yummy, one hour from him being allowed to yummy, use electronics. Yummy, 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 he was meant to be able yummy, to get them yummy, from nine. Yummy, yummy, it's now yummy, 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 almost half ten, yummy, and he's not going to get them until at least eleven. Yummy, every single time he misbehaves, I'm adding an hour to this. And do you know what? He knows the rules. If he chooses not to follow them, tough. So I'm in that kind of mood today. I'm not going to take any more rubbish because yesterday I kind of put up with it because I know sometimes they need it, even though I did shout all day. But um, today, that's enough. I need a little reset time before we get back to the normal routine. So now, next on the list, nappy time. So I didn't order much in the sale this year uh, because we were away and I just want to save my money for other stuff but um, there's a few things I needed so I got I need to return half of the order as usual but uh, I wanted some an extra pair of pyjamas something cozy not fancy I got these they are a bit big uh, especially hold on I'm gonna turn um, I mean they are very big but um, they are very cozy top is definitely too big like the shoulders are way too low but it's cozy it's a very plain cotton thing i love it uh, i'm returning to three things um, a jumper which is green and stripy navy with some flowers it's just the shape it fits but the shape is too baggy on top and it makes me look too big then I had ordered two pairs of leggings, one long, which is this one, which I'm going to return. It's very thick and I, it, it makes me feel really warm and I want something to warm work out in. It's far too thick, it's probably a winter one. And then I had ordered a plain v-neck stripey top, but the material is just very synthetic and sweaty and all that. So for once, everything fits, but I'm returning stuff because of shapes of main materials i'm keeping one of the um, leggings i got i'll show you it's a crop one and i wanted something i only have like really old stuff to work out in and i wanted something new and i got this one it's like this color with some black on the sides and it has a little thing like this this color doesn't suit me at all but it's very minimal in the thing so um there we go so i have they're three quarter length but on me <laughs> they look very long so they are how do you call it six eight or something like this something like this i can't remember anyway they didn't put do you know the return packing slip where you have the return label and the return code things you live in when you return stuff they didn't put it in so i'm gonna have to go and see if i can get it online but um yeah it is 20 to 12. one more load of laundry to go i'm still not feeling 100 percent still not my appetite is still not back i don't know what this is i'm wondering if it's like a kind of bug thing the boys had well actually especially and james had something similar before we left so i'm assuming it's just something like that uh, but uh, I'm continuing my jigsaw. I'm trying to find the edges I'm missing. I found a few, and then I'm going to do. I'm going to focus on all the buildings first because the rest is all similar stuff. So I'm starting at all the building pieces there, and then I have a tray underneath for all the rest. This is what I have left to sort out, and I'm hoping to have a few more edges in there that I'll show you by the end of the day where I'm at. I am off to bed and before I go I'm going to end this vlog I'm just going to show you where I'm at with the jigsaw I think I'll have it done tomorrow I'm getting frustrated now because I have those pieces it's all the trees so it's all very similar um, but yes we really enjoy doing this I'm catching up on TV and I have all the laundry done <coughs> and tomorrow the boys are going back to school which is great because they have been in a really bad mood today so I'm looking forward to getting back to a normal routine 
I'm hoping that settles them a little bit. Alfie has been washed, but he doesn't do very well when there's no routine. So hopefully, sorry, I'm struggling. I'm trying to put a five liter bottle in the fridge. It's not working. Uh, yes, I'm hoping the getting back in the routine helps because yeah, the last two days have been great. Anyway, I'm gonna go and brush my teeth, head to bed, read a little bit and go to sleep and I'll see you in the next one.